and here it is, the world's first electric Rolls-Royce. It's only a test car, a, a prototype, but it's a fully functioning model. So like on every other electric car, the Rolls-Royce has a plug-in point on the side. This is where you put the cable that goes into the socket in the wall to recharge the batteries. But Rolls-Royce has come up with an idea that is rather more Rolls-Royce, really, and that's this induction plate. This plate is placed on the floor in your garage, and all you have to do to recharge the battery is to just drive in and park over it. Obviously, to power a car as big as the Phantom, which weighs two and a half tons, you need a huge battery pack. Fortunately, the car is also kitted out with a massive engine bay where the V12 engine normally sits, and the battery pack fits perfectly into that space. The electric motors are behind the back seats where the petrol tank is normally kept, and between them, they add 200 kilos to the weight of the car. Now the next thing Rolls-Royce will do is to let its customers have a go. Some 500 people will be driving this car over the next few months to give the company feedback. They want to find out whether they are prepared to move away from petrol engines towards new modern technology.